All right, guys, we got Jim Mumford, 50-year-old physician. He's a 50-year-old widower trying to get his life back together after his wife died. His wife died of breast cancer 18 months ago, and he's really having trouble at getting back in the groove. It's long enough ago that we don't start sobbing every time we talk about it anymore. I mean, we still have a lot of warm memories of her. Jim hasn't really had a lot of success in moving on, but he's really ready to, so we're, it's sort of the perfect time for us to come in and help him figure out the next phase of his life. He's got three amazing kids. Jamie, Cooper, and Anna. Jamie's 13, Cooper's 10, and Anna is 6. His mother-in-law, Hannah, is living with him, helping him raise the kids. She's helping him cook and helping him clean. She's sleeping on the floor of their daughter's bedroom because they have no place for her in the house. It's kind of a bummer. And it's been great that his mother-in-law has been there to help, but it's also time for her to move on, if you know what I'm saying. Well, I mean, if he lets the mother-in-law kind of be the mom, then he's going to miss out on raising his kids, which it sounds like he's kind of hiding. He doesn't even like to take the dog for a walk anymore. They have a black mutt named Cricket. Cricket doesn't get to go to the park very much anymore because oh, Jim's not really up for it. I see a haircut. He's got a long ponytail but the thing is he stopped cutting his hair once his wife died the first key to like getting on the right track is to get your hair cut a fresh haircut can really change everything a fresh haircut a new sofa get him back into the game he's ready to stop mourning he's ready to stop mourning oh. and move on i think we need to mend some hearts stat <laughs> Lots of stuff. Let's get in here so we can take a good look at the joint. This is great if you serve a lot of French fries because it'll keep it warm just like at Burger King. This is a great hat. I love it. It's very you. Anna, is this your room? Well, let's take the tour for goodness sake. So your Nana sleeps right here. Oh my just, gosh. And does, it's very does she, convenient. Does she snore? Does yeah. she snore? She does. So what's it like raising these three ones on your own? It's busy, you know what it's I mean? It's very busy, sure right? There's more bacon than I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, Arson! It was Arson. a bacon-lanch! And so how, how has it been here since your, since your daughter well, see, died? The kids are so used to me because not only was my daughter sick for a long time, but my loft is right across the park. Okay. So the kids have been, you know, they've been in my life forever anyway. Wait, you screaming all over my mouth, watch. Is this Cricket? Hi, Cricket, oh come here. God. Oh, good boy. Now, what is this splat stuff? Oh, oh it's I disgusting. It. It's some sort of engineered goop. What does it do with the puppy? Apparently, he used to walk Cricket a lot more in the park, run I around did, in the dog run. Well, stop neglecting yeah. Cricket. Look at all the electrical appliances you have on the counter. One, two, three, no counter, four, though. five, six different electrical appliances. Hey, Ew! That's so gross. Ew! Ew! That is so gross. You're doing all the cooking? Now, what? No, 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 no. I gotta keep that straight. Okay. Um, I don't. Jim is actually a good cook. So what kind of medicine do you practice? Um, I'm a family doctor. Okay. So, so I, you do everything? A little bit of everything. Uh-huh. Deliver babies? I do. We have to talk about I that rat tail in the back of his head. Oh, Thank you. Hello. No, is, is like, no. We do not need to talk exactly. about it. Are you we do not kidding? need to discuss it. You need to cut it off. <laughs> Look at Cricket. Cricket's the cutest dog ever. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. He likes you. Dog food tongue in my mouth. What kind of things have you told Jim to, to do that would help him move forward? 
he needs to go out. He needs to socialize, um, yeah. Yeah, and see even see a movie and then discuss it afterwards, but to get out of his head. What on earth? Look at this disorganization. This is kind of like a fallout shelter in there. Now, what about all this shelving here? This is just overflow, right? Over. Yeah. Show me Dad's room. Here, here. Come on, bring me in here real quick. Now, this is—is is this your daughter? Yeah. Oh, oh I'm sorry about your daughter. She was She's a gorgeous. Beauty and a nice woman. We keep talking about your wife, and I, just tell me a little bit. Tell me a little bit about her. I mean, she was really intelligent. She um, was, I mean, she was the other half of me. Right. And, you know, I mean, even with the cancer, even right up until the end, she really tried to stay positive the whole time. The entire time, right? And how long did she, did she battle with cancer? Well, she was diagnosed with cancer in um, January of 2001, and then she died in September 1st, 2004. And sometimes I have the weirdest dreams, like she's talking to me. It's, uh -huh. it's really cool. Well, maybe she is. Mm -hmm. hey, it's what Barbie. I think. Who is your daughter? What was she like? My my daughter was um, kind of the person that we all, you know, she was like a tree trunk. Mm -hmm. And we felt, you know, she was there and we always knew that if we had problems, you know, we'd, she'd deal with it and help us. And she was a really great person. What's with the long hair? Do we like? I don't know. I don't know. He doesn't care. It's hair, you know? I know, but it's I, hair, and I, I prefer to ignore it whenever possible. Kidding. There's German speaking in the house, and I know you're a good. You're oh, yeah, I can auch Deutsch sprechen. Right here, Jimmy, did Jimmy have Jimmy, you can auch Deutsch sprechen? Yeah, yeah, you must Deutsch sprechen.